Thank you. Prime Minister, thank you, uh, thank you very, very much. Thank you for hosting us today. Thank you for the very good uh, and, and lengthy conversation. Uh, I'm looking forward also to spending some more time with, uh, with some of our colleagues, with uh, Foreign Minister Ashkenazi, Defense Minister Gantz, as well uh, later uh, with uh, President Abbas uh, and uh, other Palestinian leaders. Uh, President Biden asked me to, uh, uh, to come here today really for four, uh, four reasons. First, to demonstrate the commitment of the United States to Israel's security, to start to work toward greater stability and reduce tensions in the West Bank uh, and Jerusalem, to support urgent humanitarian and reconstruction assistance for Gaza to benefit the Palestinian people, and to continue to rebuild our relationship with the Palestinian people and the Palestinian Authority. Intense uh, behind-the-scenes uh, diplomacy led by President Biden, working very closely with, um, with the Prime Minister, helped produce last week's ceasefire. Now we believe we must uh, build on it. That starts with the recognition that uh, losses on both sides uh, were profound. Casualties are often reduced uh, to numbers. But behind every number is an individual human being, a daughter, a son, a father, a mother, a grandparent, a best friend. Uh, and as the Talmud teaches, uh, to lose a life is to lose the whole world, whether that life is Palestinian or Israeli. I underscored uh, to the Prime Minister something that President Biden made crystal clear throughout the violence. The United States fully supports Israel's right to defend itself against attacks, such as the thousands of rockets fired by Hamas indiscriminately against uh, Israeli civilians. Um, for the President, I think, as many of you know, this commitment is personal. Uh, it runs deep. Uh, he's been uh, one of Israel's most steadfast supporters for the last 50 years, uh, having worked closely with every Prime Minister, starting with Golda Meir and now with Prime Minister Netanyahu. Um, as the Prime Minister mentioned, we had a detailed discussion about Israel's security needs, including replenishing uh, Iron Dome. We'll continue to strengthen all aspects of our longstanding partnership. And that includes consulting closely with Israel, as we did today, uh, on uh, the ongoing negotiations in Vienna around a potential return to the Iran nuclear agreement uh, at the same time as we continue to work together to counter Iran's destabilizing actions uh, in the region. Uh, we know that to prevent a return to violence, uh, we have to use the space created uh, to address a larger set of underlying uh, issues and challenges. Uh, and that begins with tackling the grave humanitarian situation in Gaza and starting to rebuild. Um, the United States will work to rally international support uh, around that effort while also making our own significant contributions, including some that I'll announce later today. Uh, we'll work with our partners uh, closely with, uh, uh, with all to ensure that Hamas does not benefit from the uh, reconstruction assistance. At the same time, uh, we need to work to expand uh, opportunity for Palestinians in Gaza and in the West Bank, uh, including by strengthening the private sector, expanding trade and investment, uh, and uh, other means. Assistance and investment uh, like these will help foster a more stable environment that uh, benefits Palestinians and also benefits Israelis. Um, Prime Minister and I had a chance to discuss other steps uh, that need to be taken by, by leaders on, on both sides to set a better course for their shared future. Uh, as President Biden has said, we believe that Palestinians and Israelis equally deserve to live safely and securely, to enjoy uh, equal measures of freedom, opportunity, and democracy, to be treated with uh, dignity. Um, we also discussed some of the uh, intercommunal violence that uh, erupted uh, in Israel during the conflict. And healing these wounds uh, will take leadership at every level uh, of society, from elected officials to community leaders uh, to neighbors. And we very much welcome the statements the Prime Minister made and members of his government made uh, condemning uh, the attacks regardless of whom they targeted. In our own country, in the United States, uh, we've witnessed a shocking eruption of anti-Semitic uh, attacks. As President Biden said uh, just yesterday, they are despicable and they must stop. Um, there's a lot of hard work ahead to restore hope, respect, and, and some trust uh, across communities. But we've seen the alternative, and I think that should cause all of us to redouble our efforts to preserve the peace and improve the lives of Israelis and Palestinians alike. 
But, Prime Minister, again, thank you so much for uh, all the time. Thank you for the very, very good uh, conversation. And uh, we look forward to doing a lot of work together. Thank you. And, and thank you and the President for your strong statements against anti-Semitism. Masquerading as anti-Zionism, but it's anti-Semitism. And you took a bold position, clear position, and we appreciate it. I think all decent people, decent people everywhere appreciate that stance. Thank you. Thank you. Gentlemen, did you discuss lifting the blockade? No questions. I, I apologize. There are no questions at this time.